Hello, this is Jose Coyol, Associate Planner with the City of Oxnard's Community Development Department and the Planning Division. Today, I'll be narrating Planning and Zoning Permit 21-516-43 for 99 High Tide Oxnard doing business as 99 High Tide La Serena. For a commercial cannabis business retail special use permit known as SUP for the location at 138 South A Street with an APN of 202-0-056-100 for the upcoming January 20th, 2022 Planning Commission meeting. The project description, a request to permit the operation of a commercial cannabis retail facility within an existing 2,299 square foot commercial building on a 0.08 acre site. As part of the project, there will be tenant improvements consisting of the installation of new partition walls, security upgrades to the existing building, minor plumbing upgrades, upgrades to the existing fire alarm system, installation of secure doors and windows, and providing exterior facade improvements. Cannabis retail operations will be conducted between 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. daily. The application was filed by Sandboy. Project location. Subject site will be located at 138 South A Street. From this slide, you can see the vicinity map. This will be at the heart of the city in the center of downtown where the project is being proposed. This slide, the general and zoning maps outline the designations of the site. The general plan land use designation is downtown DTN, while the zoning designation is downtown general DT-G. Existing site. The subject site located at 138 South A Street has the following uses outlined in this table. Both the general plan and the zoning designation are shared throughout this region, um, and the general plan is downtown DTN, and the zoning designation is downtown general with a DT-G designation. The project site, uh, its current land configuration is a commercial building. To the north is a commercial building. To the south, there's a commercial building and a private parking lot. To the east, there's an automotive re repair building and a car wash facility. And to the west, you have multi-tenant commercial offices and also a vacant lot. Existing condition. This is a street view looking east at the subject site. Um, the site is located with the arrow there. As you can see, it's a single, sta single standing building um, with a frontage towards the sidewalk um, and no available parking along the front. Background, development history. Early in the 1960s, the original site was developed. Early 1960s to current, various tenant improvements to accommodate the turnover of general commercial establishments of general commercial establishments and a religious school have been conducted at the site. Background, cannabis regulations. On April 2018, the City Council adopted the Cannabis Delivery Ordinance, including permitting fees. Then in January 2019, the state legalized cannabis delivery by state licensed firms and eliminated the city's ability to regulate cannabis delivery. On June 18th, 2019, City Council adopted Ordinance Number 2960, establishing regulations pertaining to manufacturing, testing, and distribution of cannabis. Then on October 1st, 2019, City Council then adopted Ordinance Number 2965, modifying the discretionary permitting process, along with other non-substantive ordinance adjustments pertaining to manufacturing, testing, and distribution of cannabis. Then on September 15, 2020, City Council adopted Ordinance Number 2985, to update the cannabis regulations in the city's newly adopted industrial code found in chapter 16 of the Oxnard City Code known as OCC. Cannabis background regulations continue. On December 1st, 2020, City Council adopted ordinance number 2994, establishing regulations to repeal and readopt the former city's commercial cannabis regulations pertaining to cannabis manufacturing, distribution, testing, and retail facilities contained in chapter 11. Commercial Cannabis License Selection. On January 7, 2021, 99 High Tide Oxnard doing business as 99 High Tide La Serena filed for a request to obtain a commercial cannabis business permit for a 2,299 square foot cannabis retail facility. On March 1, 2021, 99 High Tide Oxnard doing business as 99 High Tide La Serena was awarded a conditional commercial cannabis business permit for cannabis retail. In order to successfully commence and inaugurate the commercial cannabis business permit, 99 High Tide Oxnard, doing business as 99 High Tide La Serena, 
is required to receive approval of a special use permit as specified within the Oxnard City Code Section 11-457. Downtown Review. On October 14, 2021, the Downtown Design Review Committee, known as DDRC, reviewed the project and provided recommendations to modify the project's exterior and provide landscaping improvements. Subsequently, the applicant team modified the plans to be consistent with the, D with the DDRC's direction. Site plan. As can be seen on the site plan here, um, there will be substantial um, improvements along the street frontage. There will be two trees um, that <clears throat> have been chosen to match the surrounding uh, tree landscaping um, that the city of Oxnard is trying to go ahead and capture in the downtown corridor. Um, other improvements along the rear of the property, um, along the back alleyway um, that's public, there will be a new trash enclosure that will be proposed uh, with a roof cover to meet um, recycling and pollutant diversion uh, for waste, as well as a loading zone. Um, one thing to note is that parking will um, not be provided at the site and instead um, the applicant will um, elect to go ahead and uh, provide nine spaces through the downtowns in lieu fee um, program as specified in the staff report. Um, here we have uh, elevation showing some of the updates that will be happening. Um, please note that the signage on here has not been reviewed by staff yet and it will be reviewed at a future date as a separate permit um, and it will be consistent with the downtown's code and other zoning requirements. Um, other things to note is that there is going to be an opus, open sort of wood um, veneer look on the front of it um, to provide um, some architectural elements and depth to the building, as well as um, help screen um, some of the cannabis um, uses going on on site um, and having that sort of balance between having those two things um, um, to meet those needs. The floor plan and security plan. The applicant provided a security plan with a detailed floor plan, which was reviewed and conditionally approved by the police department. Security measures at the site include private security is required at the property. Security cameras will be installed. Adequate lighting will be provided on site and cannabis products will be monitored, tracked and placed in secure storage. Public comments. The project is located within the Wilson neighborhood. On September 9, 2021, the site was posted with project details and a community workshop information, and the developer mailed out 688 meeting agenda notices to the residents of the Wilson neighborhood. Then on September 20th, 2021, the project was presented to the public during a community workshop meeting. The meeting was attended by approximately 29 members of the public and persons had an opportunity to ask questions. Public comments continued. Staff received comments during the community workshop. Support because cannabis uses downtown to revitalize neighbor, the neighborhood. Applicant has a good business track record and has helped with the beautification efforts of downtown. And lastly, access to cannabis products and the inclusion of private security in the community. Concerns were associated with the business odor, crime, parking, and a parking study, noise, proximity to a uh, public library, lack of lighting, pushing homeless to other um, areas of downtown and cannabis products, highlighting health problems. Finally, use of private security instead of, of the police department. Lastly, the applicant was encouraged to help veterans um, in Mercy House. Public comments continued. Following the community workshop, staff received an additional two comment letters from the general public in opposition of the project. The full letters um, are in the staff report packet. Key conditions of approval. Conditions 15, 42, and 43 are to abide by the city of Oxnard and the state of California rules and regulations related to this business. Condition 39, commercial cannabis business permit shall expire and be subject to renewal process in chapter 11 of the Oxnard City Code 12 months after the date of issuance of the SUP pursuant to Oxnard City Code section 11-459. Retail operational conditions. Conditions 59 through 61 and 132 through 133 provide regulatory action of cannabis retail procedures to allow only eligible members of the community to purchase product and to allow for a secure selling environment. Police conditions um, can be found within conditions 82 through 152. Security features will be implemented as required by the adopted cannabis ordinance. 
Key conditions of approval continued. Fire department conditions may be found with conditions of approval 153 through 172. This broad range of numbers indicates that the system is to be designed to be a safe facility. Community benefits and community relations. Conditions 49 through 52 and 64 and 65. The project is conditioned to be a good neighbor and member of the community. Finally, taxes and inventory tracking can be found in conditions 53 to 54 and 66 to 74. These set of conditions help the operator be a responsible corporate citizen. Environmental review. In accordance with section 15301 class one existing facilities of the state of California's Environmental Quality Act known as CEQA, Guidelines, projects involving negligible or no expansion of use beyond that existing at the time of the lead agency's determination may be found to be exempt from the requirement of CEQA. The project includes a request to operate a cannabis retail facility within an existing individual building, and the project will not increase the square footage of the existing building. No substantial evidence the project will have significant effect on the environment. A notice of exemption will be filed with the County of Ventura. Staff recommendation that the Planning Commission A, find the project to be categorically exempt from the environmental review pursuant to the California Environmental Quality Act known as CEQA, Guideline Section 15301, Existing Facilities, and B, adopt resolution 2022-XX, approving planning and zoning permit number 21-516-43, special use permit cannabis retail, subject to certain findings and conditions. This concludes staff's presentation on this item to be heard on the Planning Commission hearing of January 20th, 2022. Staff will be available for questions at the meeting. Thank you.